In the past, I've had some awful attempts at building an elevator in build I mean, back in the day, we had to use all of this crazy stuff like gear tracks. I mean, you name it. It was nuts. But just the other day, I got recommended this video right here. And I thought, hey, I want to give it another shot to see if I can come up with some interesting elevator designs. I mean, there is all of this crazy stuff that we didn't have before that should make it way more interesting. So first things first, let's start building what I think is going to be the quote unquote easy elevator. I think pretty much everyone is going to be able to build this. But dude, I mean, this is probably inspired by a lava flows design. I saw it in his thumbnail and I thought it was just so sick. So uh, if you want to get like a super high detail tutorial, I'll leave a link down below to his video. But yeah, let me try building my very own design because guys, I think I can figure this out without the tutorial. So first things first, this is some stuff that we should know about. I mean, I'm pretty sure actually that if we place pistons right next to each other like this, they can still extend, right? Yeah, baby. Okay. So yeah, that was very important. I needed to know that. Now, now that I know that, what I can start messing around with is I think the actual design itself. So yeah, guys, what we can do is we can kind of see how wide do we want our elevator to be? Let's say I set the piston length to like five, just like about half. Like, I feel like that is still way too big. Let me set it to like two. Actually, wait, that, that might be way too little. <laughs> Now, guys, there are going to be some interesting things that I'm going to have to figure out. I don't know what Lava Flows did, but pretty much, for instance, if I want to save this thing, I cannot have these blocks right next to each other because otherwise they're just going to connect. Like right now, this is all just one big jumbled up mess. So yeah, that's one of the things that I'm actually going to have to figure out. But I actually think I like the distance of two. It kind of gives it like this two block wide, really cool looking like gap. Kind of like how it does like in the old Minecraft elevators, if you know what that looks like. So yeah, the way I'm actually going to get the full length is by doing this set this to two as well. And then if I extend this like so, I pretty much have the perfect length measured. So yeah, now I can actually just start pretty much scaling this up as high as I want. So yeah, guys, let's actually get right into this. I feel like this isn't going to be too hard of a design. That's why I felt like it was a pretty good place to start. I have some more insane ideas coming up as well, guys. So you want to stick around for that. But yeah, okay. So we're going to place pistons on every single block just like that. And the very first problem that we're going to have to figure out is exactly how are we going to make it that we don't like have everything glued together. <laughs> All right, piston speed 10. And let's set the length to two. So one of the things that we could do is we could make every single one of these blocks like a just smidget, like a tiny little less. So like 0 0.1. Oh, and if I did this for every single block, guys, as you can see, they're currently not actually connected. Now, another thing that I could do, I think, is do some kind of crazy like alternating pattern for the actual block. So um, and this would have to like and save it like this. And this would just be the way it's saved. But I feel like that might be a little bit too complicated. <laughs> And also, when you load it, it's going to look all kind of wonky. So I think the way to actually go about it is just by scaling this down by like just a tiny little. Yeah, baby. That's looking good. Because one of the things that we're obviously going to have to figure out still is all of the timings and all of the more intricate stuff. But I feel like that's going to be like pretty manageable. All right. So yeah, everything is now in place. And actually, as you guys can see, uh, everything is just like just about not touching, which is actually exactly what we want to see. Actually, wait, could I do this? Oh, oh! blow tool, baby, dude. I'm still not used to using this thing. Oh, dude, that makes my life so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at him go! Dude, that is just... Dude, I love the new clone tool. It really is one of the best additions we've had in a very long time. Okay, so let's see. We're going to place a block right there just to... Oh, oops. Uh, let's set my skill tool back to normal. Back to two. And let's, let's get the floor in place. Oh, so it's not actually centered. Ooh. Okay, what I'm actually going to do, guys, to get the exact center, set this to 0 0.1 right here. And I'm going to just scale this until it's like perfectly flush like that. And then right here in the middle, I can place a block. And that actually is a centered block. There you go. That is what I wanted to see. And let's see. Just like that. 0 0.1. And then, yeah, man, that looks beautiful right there. Just make sure that it's not touching anything right there. As you can see right now, it is like on that like little, yeah, it's in that one spot where it's just about not touching. All right, let's save this entire thing. And dude, let's actually give it a little test run. So actually first things first. Um, Okay, yeah, wait, wait, you know, when I unanchor everything, I'll just do it like this. Unanchor, okay, everything, nothing fell down, which is a good thing. <laughs> if things are gonna, if you unanchor something and everything is crumbling apart, you've probably messed up somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so place this in. Oh, yeah, baby. That is exactly what we want to see. Now, guys, as you can see, there's a little bit of wonkiness happening over there at the top, but don't really don't worry about that too much. Like, we can probably fix that. So, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go place all of the delays. So, actually, first things first, we're going to place a lever right there just to make it not like connect. Like, if we don't do that, pretty much what will happen if we place a delay, it's going to like start connecting and stuff. Wait, does it? Did he fix it? Oh, I think Chill might have fixed it. Oops. Well, still, I'll just still place the lever just to be safe. <laughs> and, you guys, what we're going to do, just every single block right here, we're going 
going to place a delay just like that. Actually, just because I really like the actual look of all of like the mechanical blocks and stuff, I'm actually going to place them here on the front just like that. Just because I think it looks cool, but you can place them where wherever, really. Also, technically, you don't need two sides of this. What you can really just do is uh, connect this uh, <laughs> this delay right here to also this piston, but I don't think it looks cool. So I'm going to do it not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, what we're going to just go is we're going to just go one by one, connecting each and every one of these to the actual piston. One by one, baby. All right, so let's see. I think everything is now connected. All right, everything is looking pretty good. So uh, now we actually have to go one by one up. So yeah, this one goes into that. That one goes into that. You get the idea. There you go. All right, now let's see how this is all working out. <laughs> I hope it, oh, I hope it's going to work, man. All right, let's stand right here and let's unanchor everything. Let's see how this is going to go. Three, two, one. Give it a try. Uh, okay, so right now it's probably way too slow, but as you guys can see, oh my God, baby, we're going up. This is an elevator. Okay, so yeah, guys, we can obviously speed things up quite a lot, but dude, this is amazing, man. So actually, what you probably do is go, go like this. So this goes into there and then that goes back into the actual thing. So then pretty much what happens if we actually flick this lever, as you can see, it's going to go like one by one. Yeah, nice. Okay, so select all except these two right here and set the delay time to 0.1. I wonder if 0.1 is going to be too fast. It might be too fast. Let's try it out. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, dude. Okay, that actually did pretty good. Okay, let's go. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too fast. Let's actually place a back wall here just to, just to give it a, you know, make sure that if it is possible, you know, we've tried it. All right, let's see. Okay, there's a back wall now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it totally works with the back wall because if it starts pushing you around a little bit too much, what can otherwise happen is that it kind of like messes up a little bit. But with the back wall, it's smooth and it works pretty much every single time. That is amazing. All right, now guys, just for the aesthetic, I'm actually going to make that cobblestone because I think it looks pretty cool. So let's see what I can actually do, guys, to make this even more like cool looking and like work a little bit better as well is go right there and then actually place a glass block just like so. 0.1 again. Scale this all the way to the right. So yeah, guys, if we do that, it should be pretty much impossible for us to not make it to the top. Like I can literally try, but it's like, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's pretty much impossible, dude. That is so freaking cool. Uh, like I said, guys, if you want to see uh, Lava Flow's interpretation of this design, it might be very similar. I actually don't know. I haven't watched this video yet, but go check it out. There's a link in the description, dude. That is such a cool freaking design. Like, I'm going to use this in a lot of builds because, guys, actually, what makes this really, really interesting is because we're using pistons right here. Like, for instance, if you have an unanchored build, like, let's say, let's just try out something that would be absolutely impossible with pretty much most elevators, right? Like, let's say we do something like this where we literally unanchor the... Actually, just ready up the water. Okay, maybe I should connect things. <laughs> Okay, maybe that was kind of silly. Uh, you got to connect things to each other to actually like, for it to like not crumble apart, you know? You know that that message I was telling you about earlier? If your build is crumbling apart, you've probably done something wrong. I've probably done something wrong right here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, um, I need to actually connect things together right now. So um, go like that, let's go like that. And just for the tutorial, let's just do something simple here. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's let's ready up the water again. And let's see, like I said, guys, what I think makes this kind of elevator so interesting because it's so like solid and because pistons work the way they do, this should actually work on like a moving build. Yeah, look at that. Like there's no elevator that does that. Like at least very, very few of them. It's so cool. And this is so much more interesting than just your average boring like piston pushing up elevator, you know? Like this actually has some life to it, you know? It has a vibe, if you know what I'm saying. Look at it. Oh, well, the, it's literally impossible to mess up. Well, the build is bloody moving ah it's amazing guys wait wait wait, guys with that we're actually going to be ending off today's video guys the build that we ended up making the escalator ended up just being too crazy to just put it the back of this video so if you want to see literally the craziest escalator design i think that has ever been created in build boats make sure to watch tomorrow's video guys it's gonna be nuts here throw a little clip up of me riding it what that looks we crazy it. because it is guys with that i'll see you on the next one boys if you haven't already liked the video subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell i don't know use my star code or something man what are you doing